In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on October 28, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Oregon vs. Utah In a highly anticipated showdown in Salt Lake City, the 8th-ranked Oregon Ducks are poised to go head-to-head -head with the 13th-ranked Utah Utes. This game marks the 37th annual encounter between these two rivals, made all the more bittersweet as it signifies their final meeting as Pac-12 members, with the Ducks transitioning to the Big Ten and the Utes joining the Big 12. Oregon, led by quarterback Bo Nix, enters this game fresh from a convincing victory over Washington State. Meanwhile, Udo secured a thrilling last-second win against USC in Los Angeles. As these teams bid farewell to the Pac-12, this matchup promises to be a fitting send-off on the Pac-12's farewell tour. The Oregon Ducks boast a 6-1 record this season following their 38-24 victory over Washington State last week. Oregon held a 17-13 lead at halftime and dominated much of the second half to secure the win. The Ducks outgained Washington State 541-495 and posted a 5-10 third down conversion rate. Oregon's lone loss came on the road against Washington, with a final score of 36-33. The Oregon offense is averaging 47 points per game, with 326.1 passing yards and 226.9 rushing yards per game, while maintaining a 53.1% third down conversion rate. Bo Nix has thrown for 2,089 yards, 19 touchdowns, and just one interception this season for the Ducks. Bucky Irving has rushed for 649 yards and seven touchdowns, while Troy Franklin has caught 44 passes for 768 yards and eight touchdowns. The Oregon defense is allowing an average of 17 points per game this season. The Utah Utes have secured a 6-1 record this season, including their recent 34-32 victory over USC last week. Utah held a 31-23 lead in the fourth quarter but allowed USC to take a 32-31 lead with 1.46 left before securing the win with a last-second field goal. Utah outgained USC 482-401, and both teams turned the ball over once. Utah's sole loss came on the road against Oregon State with a final score of 21-7. The Utah offense is averaging 23 points per game, with 161.7 passing yards and 183.3 rushing yards per game, while maintaining a 36.5% third down conversion rate. Bryson Barnes has thrown for 633 yards, four touchdowns, and three interceptions for the Utes this season. Jack Wyndon Jackson has rushed for 450 yards and one touchdown, while Mikey Matthews has caught 22 passes for 210 yards. The Utah defense is allowing an average of 15 points per game this year. Oregon has demonstrated exceptional performance against the spread this season, with a remarkable 83.3% success rate. This reliability has only improved under the leadership of Dan Lanning, with the Ducks boasting a strong 68.4% against the spread record since his arrival. Positive indicators for the Ducks include the participation of Bucky Irving and Kyrie Jackson in practice, providing a significant boost to both their offensive and defensive units. With Bo Nix having his full complement of offensive weapons as they head to Salt Lake City, the Ducks are well equipped to tackle their opponents with a potent and balanced attack. These factors, coupled with Oregon's impressive against the spread track record this season and since Dan Lanning's arrival, make a compelling case for considering them as strong favorites in their upcoming game. There's a reason Oregon is favored here. They appear to be the premier team in the Pac-12, and with Utah shutting down Cam Rising for the season, Oregon can concentrate on containing Nate Johnson and Bryson Barnes. The Ducks are well suited to defeat teams both at home and on the road, and Utah's prospects of engaging in a high-scoring contest against Oregon's formidable defense look grim. The Ducks are poised to secure a victory and pull away in this matchup. 
I'm making the unconventional choice to fade Utah at Rice Eccles Stadium. I predict that Oregon will end Utah's home winning streak. So the Oregon Ducks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. This game presents a matchup between two of the Pac-12's most robust defenses. Both teams have been stingy against the run, allowing their opponents less than 100 yards per game and maintaining an average of under 3.5 yards per carry. Additionally, both Oregon and Utah have held their opponents to under 20 points per game. For Utah, their passing game has struggled, which allows Oregon's defense to concentrate on stopping the run. The Ducks are no slouches in the secondary, making it challenging for the Utes to make plays with their struggling passing game. Utah faced explosive offenses before, most notably USC. However, these struggles continue to limit Utah's offensive capabilities. The Utes haven't allowed 20 points in any home game yet, and even if the streak comes to an end, their defense remains strong. First and foremost, there's a noticeable trend toward the under in Utah's games this season, with a 5-2-0 record favoring the under. This trend reflects Utah's involvement in low-scoring matchups characterized by stout defensive play, cautious offensive strategies, and the absence of quarterback Cam Rising, which has limited their offensive firepower. Moreover, despite Bryson Barnes' standout performance in his last game, facing Dan Lanning's Oregon defense presents a formidable challenge. Lanning's defense has showcased its ability to stifle opponents, as evidenced in their previous game against Washington State. Their ability to control a potent Washington State offense underscores their defensive prowess. Considering Utah's inclination toward low-scoring games and the defensive strength of Oregon, particularly with Dan Lanning at the helm. The likelihood of a game with a total score below 48.5 points is even more convincing. Expect the total score to fall short of 50 points. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Brigham Young University vs. Texas In college football action, the Brigham Young University Cougars are set to collide with the Texas Longhorns at Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium. Brigham Young University is coming off a weekend clash against Texas Tech, where they secured a 13-point victory, maintaining their 5-2 season record. On the other side, the 6-1 Texas Longhorns faced off against Houston in their most recent matchup clinching a narrow one-score win. The Cougars had a reasonably strong start in their initial six games this season, boasting a 4-2 record. They initiated their campaign with consecutive wins over Sam Houston, Southern Utah, and Arkansas, but then suffered a setback with a loss to Kansas. Following the Kansas defeat, the Cougars rebounded with a 35-27 victory against Cincinnati, only to face a lopsided loss against TCU. In their recent encounter with Texas Tech, Brigham Young University asserted dominance, leading 20 27-7 by the fourth quarter and securing a convincing 27-14 win. Quarterback Kedon Slovis contributed 127 yards and two touchdowns, while L.J. Martin excelled in the rushing game with 93 yards on 10 carries. Darius Lassiter stood out among the receivers, amassing 47 yards and a touchdown from four receptions. On the Texas Longhorns side, they embarked on the 2023 season with five consecutive victories, triumphing over Rice, Alabama, Wyoming, Baylor, and Kansas. However, their sixth game marked their first loss, with a 34-30 defeat to Oklahoma. In the Oklahoma game, Texas quarterback Quinn Ewers managed 346 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions on 3-1 of 3-7 passing. In their recent clash with Houston, the Longhorns engaged in a back-and-forth battle, ultimately emerging victorious with a 31-24 scoreline, albeit with some controversy surrounding a late-game spot. Ewers contributed 211 yards and two touchdowns in this game, while Jonathan Brooks led the rushing effort with 99 yards from 20 carries. Xavier Worthy Sean with six catches for 92 yards and a touchdown. Texas is anticipated to win this football game convincingly, emphasizing that they possess a team of standout players led by a star quarterback. The Longhorns won't place excessive demands on their starting quarterback on Saturday, allowing him to act as a game manager. They are poised to run the football effectively against the Cougars, thus maintaining more manageable third-down situations. Brigham Young University ranks 91st in third-down defense and has struggled to generate a pass rush this season, leaving its secondary susceptible to Texas elite receivers, regardless of the quarterback's delivery. Texas defense is expected to excel as well. In their previous game, the Cougars managed just 277 total yards of offense, relying on five turnovers by Texas Tech to secure the win. The Longhorns are unlikely to make costly errors that would keep Brigham Young University in the game, thereby forcing the Pittsburgh transfer, Kedon Slovis, to excel in the passing game. Given Texas' dominance against the run, it is improbable that the Cougars quarterback will perform well without a complimentary rushing attack.
Texas ranks 7th in 3rd down defense and 10th in opponent red zone scoring percentage. Both teams have areas to improve following their victories last weekend. Texas accumulated 360 yards, 19 first downs, and did not commit any turnovers in their significant victory over Houston. Nevertheless, the Longhorns struggled in 3rd down conversions, going just 3 of 1-2, and allowed the opposition to gain 378 passing yards. Despite this, Texas has consistently scored 30 or more points in every game this season indicating that their offense is likely to perform well in this upcoming matchup. As for Brigham Young University, their offense had a rather lackluster performance against Texas Tech, managing only 277 total yards and 12 first downs. The Cougars benefited significantly from the five turnovers and nine penalties committed by Texas Tech. This upcoming contest promises to be more challenging, and it's unlikely that Brigham Young University will keep pace. They are in for a tough day, so the Texas Longhorns to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Considering that Texas will feature a freshman quarterback, Malik Murphy, on Saturday, with limited collegiate experience and just eight passing attempts to his name, it is improbable that Texas will significantly extend their lead or put up a high-scoring performance. Texas has recently favored under games, with four of their last five matchups going under the total. The Longhorns have heavily relied on their formidable defense, and this pattern is expected to continue on Saturday. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Georgia vs. Florida The storied Southeastern Conference rivalry reignites in Jacksonville as the number one Georgia Bulldogs clash with the Florida Gators in what's affectionately known as the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. Georgia remains undefeated at 7-0 this season, with their sights set on a third consecutive national title. Meanwhile, the Florida Gators enter this showdown with a 5-2 overall record, riding the momentum of back-to-back -back wins. The Georgia Bulldogs extended their flawless record with a 37-20 victory over Van Vanderbilt in their last outing. Although Georgia initially fell behind 7-0 in the first quarter, they rallied to a commanding 27-7 lead by the end of the third quarter. The Bulldogs outgained Vanderbilt 552-219 in total yards but committed two turnovers. Georgia's notable wins this season include victories against Kentucky, Auburn, and South Carolina. Their offense has been prolific, averaging 41 points per game, with 337 passing yards and 172.4 rushing yards per game, while boasting a 57.1% third down conversion rate. Quarterback Carson Beck has thrown for 2,147 yards, 12 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions. Running back Dajan Edwards has rushed for 460 yards and 6 touchdowns, and receiver Marcus Rosemey Jackson has hauled in 18 passes for 333 yards and 2 touchdowns. The Georgia defense has been stout, allowing just 14 points per game this season. The Florida Gators have posted a 5-2 record this season, following their 41-39 victory over South Carolina in the previous game. Florida held a 24-21 halftime lead but faced a 37-27 deficit in the fourth quarter, only to stage a late-game comeback with two touchdowns. The Gators outgained South Carolina 494-465 and forced two turnovers to secure the win. Florida's two losses came against Utah and Kentucky, but they also managed to defeat Tennessee earlier in the season. The Gators' offense is averaging 29 points per game, with 280.4 passing yards and 141.3 rushing yards yards per game and a 33.3% success rate on third downs. Quarterback Graham Mertz has passed for 1,897 yards, 12 touchdowns, and two interceptions. Running back Montrell Johnson Jr. has rushed for 438 yards and four touchdowns, while receiver Ricky Pearsall has made 44 receptions for 619 yards and three touchdowns. The Florida defense is conceding 20 points per game this season. While Georgia enters this game as the top-ranked team with an unblemished record, their dominance has not been as overwhelming as expected. Additionally, the Bulldogs will be without their top receiving option, Brock Bowers. On the other hand, Florida has displayed moments of brilliance this season, although their performance has been inconsistent. The Gators' offense has shown improvement in their last two games, and it's likely they will find success against the Georgia defense. Conversely, the Bulldogs' offense might encounter challenges in Bowers' absence. It's understandable why some favor Georgia in this matchup, given their unbeaten status. However, the significant point spread for a rivalry game raises questions, especially considering Georgia's failure to cover against multiple conference opponents this season. 
Despite reservations about the Florida Gators, they have shown strong performances at times, making a 10-point victory for Georgia at most conceivable, with Florida potentially sneaking through the back door. So the Florida Gators to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Georgia has demonstrated an ability to put up substantial points against Florida's defense in recent years. The Bulldogs have scored 34 or more points in five of their last six victories over the Gators. Furthermore, they have tallied 37 or more points in four of their last five games overall. Coming off a bye week, Georgia should be well prepared and rested, adapting to a game plan that accounts for Bauer's absence. Meanwhile, the Gators have averaged nearly 40 points per game during their two-game winning streak, but it's unlikely they'll replicate this output against Georgia. However, they may manage to score some late points, as demonstrated by Vanderbilt's late game scoring against the Bulldogs. In this matchup, the total points line is the lowest it has been in the last five meetings, during which there was a 2-2-1 split. In the previous season, they exceeded the total with a combined 62 points. Over their last three meetings, they averaged 58 points. The over has hit in four of Georgia's games this season, with all four overs occurring in their last four games, where they averaged 41 points. While Florida possesses a solid defense, it's unlikely they will stifle an offense of Georgia's caliber. Florida allowed the second lowest scoring team in the Southeastern Conference, South Carolina, to put up 39 points in their last outing. Thus, Georgia should generate enough points to position this play favorably. The Florida Gators will contribute to the overall point total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.